really easy recipe, very delicious. And I do want to tell you about the history of it too. But first, I must, you know, my special glasses for this. <laughs> yes, there we are. Will the real Benedict please stand up? In the 1860s, credit is given to Delmonico's restaurant, the very first restaurant or public dining room ever opened in the United States. In the 1860s, a regular patron of the restaurant, Mrs. Legrand Benedict, finding nothing to her liking and wanting something new to eat for lunch, discussed this with Delmonico's chef Charles Ranhofer. Ranhofer came up with Eggs Benedict. He has a recipe called Eggs a la Benedict, Uffe a la Benedict, in his cookbook called The Epicurean, published in 1894. Eggs a la Benedict, cut some muffins in half crosswise, toast them without allowing them to brown, then place a round of cooked ham an eighth of an inch thick and the same diameter as the muffin, one on each half. Heat in moderate oven and put a poached egg on each toast. Cover the whole with hollandaise sauce. That's one version. Or Commodore E.C. Benedict, Craig Claiborne, in September 1967 wrote a column in the New York Times Magazine about a letter he had received from Edward P. Montgomery, an American then residing in France. In it, the uh, dish was created by Commodore E.C. Benedict, a banker and a yachtsman who died in 1920 at the age of 86. Montgomery also included a recipe for Eggs Benedict, stating that the recipe had been given to him by his mother, who had received it from her brother, who was a friend of the Commodore. I'm not buying that one, I'm sorry. Or, another origin of the dish is suggested in Elizabeth David's French Provincial Cooking, where she describes a traditional French dish named Oeuf Benedictine, consisting of brandade, a puree of refreshed salt cod and potatoes, Blah. I'm not a fish person, spread on triangles of fried bread. A poached egg is then set on top and napped with hollandaise sauce. This would also explain the distinctly French syntax where the adjective follows rather than precedes the noun. No one knows how this dish got to America, but if Charles Ranhofer could have known of the Oeuf Benedictine and thought of the coincidence of Legrand's request and merged the two, brilliant. The Canadian bacon or ham is probably preferred to the salt cod by most. Definitely by me. Or Mrs. Beaton's book of household management, Oxford World's Classics, had recipes in the first edition for Dutch sauce for Benedict and is variant on the following page, green sauce or hollandaise vert. This suggests that this belonged to the salt cod that Mrs. David writes about. So now we are not sure about the real Benedict.